Hello everyone, so in this video I will be going through the process of moving a file from one Google Cloud storage bucket to another. Okay, so that is moving a file from one cloud storage bucket to another cloud storage bucket. Alright, and uh, the prerequisite for this video is that you should have Cloud SDK installed on your local environment. And if you do not have it installed um, and want to follow along in this video, please be sure to check or watch one of the previous videos I made where I went through the process of installing Cloud SDK on your Windows 11 environment. Okay, I have included the link for that video in the description. So definitely do take a look and watch it if you want to install SDK and follow along in this video if you do not have it already installed. All right, so like I mentioned, in this video, we will be covering the process of moving a file or files really from one TCS bucket to another. And to achieve this, we will be using the GSUtil uh, tool. And uh, GSUtil is really uh, nothing but a Python application that comes with the SDK and it lets you access cloud storage from the command line. And uh, with uh, GSUtil, you can perform a number of functions or tasks. Uh, some of these include creating and deleting a pocket, uploading, uh, downloading, or uh, deleting objects, uh, listing packets, uh, listing objects uh, in your packet, uh, or you can also use it to move, copy, or rename objects uh, that are in your GCS packet. Some of the other functions that come with GSUtil include uh, things like editing objects and also the permissions uh, for packets or objects within a packet. Okay, um, so let's get to our demo. Uh, again, uh, like I mentioned, I will be showing you how to move files from one uh, packet to another packet uh, within Google Cloud Storage. Okay, so let's get to it all right so um right here i i'm already on my command prompt so i'm going to clear the screen and what i'm going to do is to list the buckets that are currently in my uh, uh cloud storage uh, service account so i'm going to do gsutil and we want to do ls so this will list the buckets that are currently on my uh, google cloud storage and uh we should be able to see uh, these packets. So these are the four packets currently that I have created uh, under my Google Cloud Storage, and uh, uh, it's the same that uh, we see here. All right. So these are the four packets that uh, I do currently have created. So what I want to do is to move files from one of these packets to the other. Okay. So I want to move files from. Uh, uh, this bucket here and I want to move them to archive and uh, mostly the reason why you may want to do this uh, task of moving files around uh, could be for regulatory reasons uh, or you just want to pack up your, your, your data uh, so if this is your operational um, bucket for example where you get daily files uh, maybe over time you may want to move some of these files to a bucket that you don't necessarily use daily uh, so you can choose to move them uh, to another packet and you can have a script that does this automatically or you can manually do it if you have the time all right so let's go ahead and list uh, objects or files that are uh, within uh, this packet so to do that uh, we will do it here util and use the list command or ls and uh, we want to copy the uri for this packet. Uh, sorry that is not the one uh what we want to do is list the uh bucket uh, sorry list the files that are within the other one so it was dck data tech uh, <clears throat> so this one is the same one really here so i'm i'm only i'm i'm just listing uh, the files or are looking at the number of files that we have inside uh, this bucket. So if we look at it from the browser, we, we see that there are a number of 
files here and that's what I want to to see uh, right here so it looks like uh, I have a typo here uh, so what I expect to see is this number of files okay um, and uh, I don't know you know I don't know if there's an option that you can do uh, the same or moving files from uh, I think you can but uh, if you want to automate things around then you can use the, the utility uh, the script so you can use this script so you can write a python script that does this uh, for you and, uh, and basically automate it all right so these are the files that we have within this bucket and what we want to do is to move these files to uh, the archive uh, bucket all right so i'm going again to list the bucket so that at least we we have it here with us so um I want to move them from this folder here or this bucket to this bucket and I will start with one file and then we will do a number of other files. So before we do that, let's see if we have any file in this archive uh, bucket right now. So we'll do JSUT ls and uh, we'll lift them out. Okay, so let's see if we are able uh so this one is currently empty and uh we can also confirm from our browser or console as well we don't have any data here so what we expect to, to to see is once we move uh the files we should be able to see now data file okay so to do that <coughs> to move a file now from one google cloud storage package to another this is how we do it okay so you issue this command yes you till and the command is mv move so that stands for move and what we want to do is move uh, let's move this file for example so you want to specify the entire path for this file so this includes the the entire url or a uri as they call it so i will copy this and Put it right here right after the move command and then this i want to specify the destination okay so we are moving this file and where are we moving it to so we are moving it to this uh archive folder right here okay so i'm going i'm going to copy this and put it right at the end here so what we expect to see now is after this operation is done we should be able to see customer shopping trends inside archive okay so let's do that so i'm going to press enter and right there it has completed and it moved over one file and what you will see here is it is copying and then it removes right so there are two operations uh, that uh, move command does it copies the file uh, from the parent where you're copying it from the source really and then once it completes copying it it removes it from the source as well so in this case we are copying this file and moving it to archive so after you do this we will not have this file anymore inside ckt okay so let's let's check that so i'm going to list archive let's confirm that our file has been moved successfully so we are going to list again and see if we have this file now inside archive and you can see it is it is right there and uh, you can also see the same thing here it was empty we should be able to see that file now available okay so it's right here and then now the other thing is let's list again uh the source uh, packet to see if this file is still there so i'm going to copy that uh, and um, put it right here um, we should not see this uh, file now because you've already moved it okay so if you see uh these are the files that i have uh, i have now and this customer shopping trends has been moved it's no longer here so we now only have four and originally we had five okay so this file right here has been successfully moved to uh 
this folder right here. Okay, so that is uh, doing one file. Now, what if you are doing several of them, or you want to move everything? Okay, so let's let's see. Uh, let's say you wanted to move everything from uh, the source packet to your archive or the destination packet. How do you do that? So to do that, it is pretty simple. Uh, all you have to do is uh, again do uh, ussm uh, move command and then right here i want to move everything that is inside ck data tech so uh, if you press star it is uh, all all this means is that you want to move every single file that is within the, this packet to the archive packet or the, the, the destination packet all right so we expect now everything all of these files to be moved to the archive folder. All right, so let's see what happens when we do that. So I'm going to press enter and uh, we should be able to see uh, uh, these files getting uh, moved over. All right, so you can see it is copying and then removing, copying, removing, copying, removing. So it has completed and moved a total of four objects, which is what we expected, four of them right here. And uh, if you go again and refresh uh, your browser, you should be able to see those additional files uh, successfully available here. And now you can do the same thing here. If you list now your source, we will not see those files. They should be empty now because we moved all of the files that were here to the archive one. So you see, it's not returning anything. And uh, the same thing if you list uh, archive uh, pocket, we should be able to see uh, this additional four uh, files uh, as well as the one that we already did previously. Okay, so this is the first one that we moved individually, and these are the four additional ones that we added uh, together. All right, guys, so that is really the process of moving files from one. Uh, GCS packet to another and uh, like I mentioned you can uh, use this process uh, if you are doing some audit purposes or you just want to archive files in a folder so that you can retrieve them, retrieve them later uh, there are many use cases but uh, yeah whichever use case fits your purpose uh, and you are looking for a process uh, on how to do that using command line uh, that is how you do it Okay, guys, so I hope this uh, video was useful. Um, please uh, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And also, if you have not subscribed to this channel, uh, please uh, definitely take a second and click the subscribe button now uh, so that uh, I, whenever I release a, another video, you will be notified. Uh, I will be releasing a number of videos uh, that target uh, Google Cloud Storage, AWS, uh, Azure in future. I guess, and uh, a number of other topics in data analytics, data engineering, data science. Uh, so definitely do subscribe so that you can stay updated. All right, guys, that's all I had for you today. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, until the next time, bye-bye. Uh, I'll see you. Bye. Thank you.